Well hello and welcome to Grand Illusions TV. Today we're going to show you how to upcycle a table that's already been painted. And to do that we're going to use our rather wonderful vintage paint. So this piece of furniture has been painted with eggshell. And because as you can see it's a bit shiny, the very first thing we have to do is use some sandpaper and give it a light sanding all over. Nothing too complicated. You just need to make a rough surface so the paint will stick. This is exactly what you would do if your piece of furniture was varnished as well. It's the same procedure, just a light sanding with some medium grade sandpaper. So as you can see, nothing too complicated. It's just to make the paint stick. All you do now is give it a wipe to get rid of all the loose dust and you'll be ready to paint. So now we're ready to paint. For that, I'm going to use a mini roller and a brush. And the color I've chosen today is olive. It's a beautiful green and it's a, a contemporary color going on top of a very traditional base coat. We also call this two color aging, which is a very French technique. And it's where you'll see the red just coming through uh, to the green. This paint is packed with natural pigment. And so before you start, you must stir the paint to make sure that's all mixed in nice and thoroughly. The good thing about our chalk paint is that it's very forgiving. It's designed to be thick and creamy like double cream. Uh, it goes on very easily and it dries very quickly. So over a strong color like this, you're going to need two coats. The paint isn't galoopy either, it's uh, very fluid uh, and it's just truly a delight to use. It's important not to spread the paint too far, really just get it on as quickly as possible. It's so quick drying and this is only the undercoat really. So there you are, now you let that dry and then you'll apply a quick second coat. When it's completely dry, you need to give the piece a light sanding all over just to flatten the paint. You can also use a kitchen scourer. It works in much the same way. And it also takes all the dust. Then, the thing about aging and distressing is, it's got to be real. So you need to concentrate on the edges, on the corners, on the feet, on the rim of the legs where natural aging would occur. Um, I often started off with sandpaper. The thing is, these edges and the corners come off easily. So it almost does it for you. A thing we say a lot here is less is more. Don't go too mad. The other thing you can use is a baby wipe or cleansing wipe. Uh, that really takes a lot of the dry paint off really easily. It's really good on the edges. It really leaves a very nice patina. The other thing about aging and distressing is try not to be symmetrical. Doing a bit of aging here and a bit here. Try and be random. That's one of the hardest things really. But the more random you are, the more believable the piece will be. So when you've finished, you give it a, a dry with a soft cloth, just to get rid of the dust and any damp. Um, you can see how the baby wipe has really given a lovely patina uh, here and here and on the legs. I've slightly overdone the base of the legs um, just for the purposes of this video really. Um, but I think that's exactly what I would expect it to look like at this point. And so to finish, we recommend that you just use one or two coats of our Simply Varnish. This is a flat, matte, water-based varnish. You simply apply with a brush. Its only crime is that it's slightly luminous to start with. Pour some into a pot and apply with a brush. four or five days and you can put a hot coffee cup or something with a wet base and it will be fine.
It will dry in about an hour, but it won't have cured 100%. So there you are, two color aging in just a few minutes.